Hello everyone, I am Muhammad Ali, I am math expert since July 2020 and in this video I will answer some of the frequently asked questions about photomath. Firstly I will tell you that what is photomath and I will give you a brief introduction and then we will discuss either it is fit for you or not. Secondly I will give brief guideline to those who are interested in becoming math experts. So the first question is that what is photomath? Photomath app was introduced in COVID-19. Its primary purpose is to help the students in solving math problems. Photomath covers five major fields of mathematics. These fields include algebra, geometry, calculus, statistics, and elementary math. Unlike ordinary online calculator, Photomath gives the step-by-step -step detailed solution to math problems. Its animated video feature helps the students to understand and remember the solution visually. The question is who write these solutions? These solutions are written by math experts. And today I will tell you that how you can become a math expert. Can you become a math expert? Is it fit for you? There is one suggestion that if you are really good at math means that if you can teach math at high school level then you can become a math expert otherwise it is waste of time. I observe that most of the people are not much expert in math they waste their precious time probably few weeks in trying to pass training process. That there are five fields algebra, calculus, geometry, statistics and elementary. But the question arises that which field is best to start with? In my opinion, there is no benefit of passing elementary training because the elementary field is not fully functional. There are not much questions in the elementary field. As I am expert in all five fields, but I found that algebra and calculus are the fields from which you can earn more. Calculus field is difficult to pass but the main advantage is that calculus tasks are most paid tasks as compared to the other fields. And the other advantage is that once you pass the training you get $30 plus you qualify for algebra and elementary math. And if you are expert in calculus then I will recommend you that start with calculus. On the other hand if you are not expert in calculus then I will recommend you that start with algebra. Please do not go for statistic and elementary field because statistic is very tough. There are not much hints in the library and you have to write the statistic concepts and formula by yourself. Moreover, the expressions are too lengthy. Here I am showing you a task which I have solved for statistic final test. When I received this question for solving, the first thing I did is that I searched this question on Google then I come to know that this question is taken from elementary statistic 13 edition written by Mario. Actually this book is very helpful for those who are interested in passing statistic training. This book covers the many fundamental concepts related to scatter plots, correlation, regression, probability distribution, standard normal distribution. Oh, one thing I remember that standard normal distribution is very important topic. There are three questions in my final test which are related to standard normal distribution. This question is from chapter 4, topic 4.2 and question number 20. So here is the question and here is the solution which is written by me. You can observe that these expressions are too lengthy and difficult to write in photomath. Especially this one. This one is very difficult to write. On the other hand, Elementary is easy to pass, but after passing elementary you could not earn much. Comparison of difficulty level is shown in the table. You can observe that 
the most difficult is statistic and the earning is medium so it means there is not any advantage of passing the statistic test because difficulty level is too high on the other hand earning is medium you can observe that maximum earning is for calculus but the training is difficult to pass so now come back to the qualification process uh, which comprises of 10 mcqs and you have to answer these 10 questions in 2 hours for example if you are attempting the algebra field then the most commonly asked questions are related to sequences function trigonometry conic section graph transformations in stage 2 there is teaching skill test this test comprises of 5 questions and you have 12 hours to solve these questions be careful while solving the question because when you refresh the page then the current question which you are doing was vanishes the solution to this problem is that write the solution in microsoft word and after completing the solution copy it to the related page and this is a teaching skill test which i have solved for algebra teaching skill the first question is related to sequences is and you have to find the ninth term and second question is related to trigonometry and the third question is related to graph transformations and fourth question related to matrices and fifth question is related to functions so this is the teaching skill test so now come back to the training process third stage is solve training the purpose of solve training is to teach you about photo math rules that must be followed to write the solution of math problems to become a math expert you must learn these rules completely in solve training there are small mcqs based quizzes to assess you that either you are following these rules or not every quiz has 3 attempts if you are unable to pass the quiz in these 3 attempts then you will be disqualified for that particular field so be careful with your attempts once you fail to pass any particular test or quiz at any stage of training process then you will be disqualified for that particular field and if you want to become a math expert again in that field then you have to make a new account and start from the beginning and if we talk about photo math solution rules then there are two types of solution rules critical rules and quality improvement rules critical rules comprised of three c's correct clear and complete correct means that whole pm solution should be mathematically correct that includes correct calculation and reasoning correct use of graphs and math concepts clear means that each part of the solving procedure has to be explained in an understandable way and complete means that answer all the parts of the asked question and second type of solution rule is quality improvement rule that include seven rules the first rule is latex latex means write all the mathematical objects in latex for example if we want to write this expression then you have to write this latex expression now let's try to write this the second quality improvement rule is language this rule means that all the solution should be written in english english should be grammatically correct third rule is legal which means do not copy any content from any internet source or even from the task modify the task content before using it fourth rule is solution step fifth rule is coloring there are only three allowed colors in photomath which is blue green and orange sixth rule is visual content create your visual content on your own using allowed colors mostly the visual content is created in geogebra 
if you do not use the GeoGebra before, don't worry, Solve Training will teach you that how to use GeoGebra app. Basically, GeoGebra is online graphing calculator from which you can make graphs, draw polygons, angles, rays, lines, segments, vectors. So here are the different types of plots which are created by me for different types of tasks. You can export these graphs in different formats such as .ggb or .png. Remember one thing that file size of visual content should be less than 100 KB. If your file size is greater than 100 KB, then reduce the size using any online or offline image compression software. In visual content, you can also add the tables as well as the 3D plots. 3D plots are created in Figma. Solve Training will also guide you that how to use Figma. It means that in Solve Training, there are a lot of things which you will learn. This will definitely increase your knowledge and skills. After completing solve training, there is a final test which comprises of 10 questions. As discussed earlier, there are 3 attempts to pass this final test. Here is an example. The question is shown here. Here we write the solution. The solution is written by math expert. When you will become a math expert, then you will write the solution here. And this is preview. This preview is same as it appears to the students on the app. 